Hey there, Sonka, everybody. Welcome back for another amazing video. Today, we're going to be talking about a topic that you guys have been asking me. Is CRO halal? Is I got this asked so many times because I've been talking about CRO and I've talked about how much money I've made from CRO. Is it halal and how do I know if it's halal or not and whatnot? So without any further ado, let's get this video started. Okay, so let's start off with what is CRO. CRO, Crypto.com's native uh, token it is called chronos now they changed the name and there's also different utilities for it now they've increased the utilities for it anywho uh crypto.com is a wallet but it has a lot of uh, interfaces features and products underneath it for, for example they have nfts they are doing um trading they have you know leverage trading they have um all this other stuff also on there now i, le I like the user like the interface and their uh you know uh, project as a whole because it's like a simpler version of Binance but still having the fun of uh, like the full capacity of having Binance. It's in uh, competition with Coinbase, Binance and a few other big uh, exchange wallets as such. Now the permissibility of it, it, uh, it might seem to be impermissible and a lot of people have been talking about it online that it's impermissible. I have a few of my colleagues who are, do mix online social media content. They've talked about it. Um, and then there's that opinion, plus there's an opinion of online Islamic finance, uh, uh, people who are not experts, but they're not content creators, but they just have an opinion. And I've also taken the opinion of ulama, which is probably the most heavily weighted opinion here. So now the opinion of the, of, of the few people who are uh, making content and, and the online people is that because uh, uh, CRO or Crypto.com or Crypto.com specifically has haram uh, entities of, of trading on there. For example, there's leverage trading on it. There's some other ways that people can make impermissible income from. Then the effects of that will also benefit uh, the, the token price of CRO, the appreciation of CRO. And, and so thus you are directly correlating value to the impermissible actions within um, Crypto.com's uh, um, full project. And, and due to that, even CRO is going to be impermissible. For example, CRO tomorrow uh, brings out future trading and a lot of people jump onto crypto. Sorry, crypto.com brings out a lot of leverage trading or uh, future trading. And tomorrow, a lot of people jump onto crypto.com's platform, bringing more demand to the CRO token, increasing the value of the token. And thus, there's direct correlation to that. And then CRO is haram. And I understand the opinion. And uh, honestly, I value that opinion heavily. And I think, you know, that's a very strong opinion. And if you want to go through that opinion, it makes total sense to do so. So that's the opinion of these uh, of certain individuals already. But then there's the opinion of the other individuals and also some ulama's opinion. And so let's go over that also. Okay, so kind of I wrote down what, what, what the, um, you know, people of knowledge are saying about this. People who are specific in Islamic finance, who are in... Um, halal finance and you know crypto uh, and on all this stuff and we're ulama let's see what they're saying about this so let me just kind of open this up for you so the words of uh, how they've explained it is, is that crypto.com chain was created to build a network of cryptocurrency projects and develop merchants ability to accept crypto crypto as a form of payment the CRO token is its native uh, token so crypto.com was made so other tokens could be built upon it and so it could be behave like a currency and uh, you can do transactions with it. Although the ecosystem may have certain haram elements, it can be uh, it can also be used for halal purposes since the CRO tokens are also considered to be like a cryptocurrency. As I said again, it is permissible to trade and hold CRO tokens like any other currencies. Now, you have to understand the details here. I, in my previous videos, went over Binance or BNB, and I'll link that video up here somewhere. And I explained this in detail, uh, or, or, you know, Dr. Farooq Habib explained this, that, you know, you have to understand what are we talking about? Is, are all crypto assets, uh, utility uh, assets, are they currencies? Are they NFTs? Are, what, what, like, what are they? Like, what are we working with here? And that's, uh, that's very important to understand. So, um, CRO can be used and it was made to be used as a form of currency and also as a blockchain that can be developed on. And now because it's a currency, we have to take a similar account of uh, holding USD or holding CAD. 
your USD and CAD is directly affected by the interest rates of your country. And so that's already an issue, right? And so there's things with that. And I have another opinion to this. Just because a department of your entire ecosystem is not permissible, that doesn't make your entire ecosystem not permissible. Just because one department is impermissible doesn't make the other department uh, uh, impermissible. So keeping things like this in account, I personally go with what the ulama have said, and I believe CRO is permissible, and thus I did make benefits from it in the past. Uh, but you know, if you want to talk about, I, I should still do a little bit of maybe uh, uh, return cleaning. You know how you talk about income cleansing uh, through sadqa or so through zakat, you can hundred percent do that. And this is on you if you want to do it. Either or, either opinion you take, you need to be confident with it. You need to understand which grounds you're standing on because. On the day of judgment, you will stand on that ground if and what your decision is. Not me. This was not a fatwa. This is me bringing research together because I have the um, capacity and, uh, and access to certain research. So I can bring it together to you guys in a video and you guys can decide for yourself what's halal and what's haram for you. And you can confidently stand on that. Do not, do not go by anybody's words. Always, always blame yourself, not anybody else. Because when you blame others, you are a weak person. When you blame yourself, you are a strong person. So educate yourself, take a confident decision and buy or sell it or do whatever you want to do with it. Hope you guys liked the video. Take care of yourself. Assalamu alaikum. Do subscribe, like, share, hit that bell icon for notifications. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram for more content. I'll be uploading more stuff in all of these social media websites. Thanks. Take care. Salam.